Brocade's corporate headquarters. And joining me is AJ Casamento. He's a solutioneer with Brocade. AJ, thanks for joining us. Today. My pleasure, George. So AJ, I was at the Flash Memory Summit a few months ago, and one of the big topics there was NVMe. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a new way, essentially, to interface with a Flash device. So when Flash first came out, of course, you know we had servers, and then the simplest way to get Flash installed was to make them look like hard drives, right? And that means our interface into the processor was probably uh, SCSI or uh, you know PCIe, but still looking like a SCSI interface or a SAS connection, something like that. NVMe sort of changes that now, right? I, now I don't have to go through the SCSI stack to interface with the SSD, right? Yeah, so the, one of the, the challenges behind NVMe is the, the concept that the latency reduces so far. And one of the things that, that happens when you bring in new resource like that is the first thing people want to be able to do is extend that out um, through a fabric or a network to be able to share to other platforms, right, without having to duplicate the cost of uh, of the individual drives going inside the server platform. Right, and I, and I think so what was happening in, in that as we started to make that evolution with uh, systems out here is we were still attaching them to these systems via a, a SCSI type of connection like a SAS connection. And essentially we're over fiber channel we were still running a, a SCSI type of connection as well, right? Absolutely true. It was one of the easiest ways to get solid state into the environment to begin with was make it simple to plug and play. Right. And so sticking with serial attached SCSI as the interface and SCSI as the protocol running over fiber channel for those drives was the simple way to get it connected. Right, and I think now we're ready to kind of move to the next step, because I think one of the things that we see a lot is that while there's this fascination with IOPS, the real performance benefit is all reduction in latency. And so the more latency we can get out of the rest of the things that kind of surround that flash, the better, and so NVMe over Fabric really helps do that, right? Absolutely, and in fact, one of the biggest single demands we see for all flash arrays in the market has to do with the hypervisor admins wanting flash because the hypervisor itself makes an, uh, a blender, an IO smoothie, right. out, of, out of the random workflows that they're getting, right? And what the, what the uh, admins have figured out is that flash doesn't pay the same penalty for random right. in terms of latency as spinning disk does. Sure. Now, when you reduce the latency even further the way NVMe is, mm -hmm. right, you want to be able to take advantage of that, right? You don't want to give that up to the protocol stack, and that's where the discussion comes of NVMe having its own stack as opposed to using SCSI as the connectivity. Now, if I'm a busy IT professional, I might be thinking, oh no, not again, I don't, I don't want to change everything, you know, yeah. right? So what, what's the impact to go from a uh, NVMe over fabric, let's say I'm a fiber channel customer as an example, and I want to go to NVMe over fabric, do I have to rip all my switches out and start all over again? How's that work? Yeah, actually, this is one of the times when, when reality is going to be much nicer for the average IT admin than, right. than sometimes uh, is the case. So whether you're running on either um, Gen 5 or the new Gen 6, platforms, you can actually run NVMe over Fabric on the same switch, the same ISLs as your current installed environment. We've actually demonstrated this both at Gartner Data Center um, a year ago in December, as well as at the uh, Flash Summit that you were at, and then again at VMworld with a lot of interest from, from people. Okay, and so if I got you then, that, what that means is I can continue to run fiber, you know, traditional fiber channel on one part of my network and NVMe over fabric or NVMe over fiber channel on the other part. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, even on the same interswitch links. And, and I think one of the advantages to that, you know, if you think about how Flash made its progression into the market by using an interface that was simple for people to just connect to, right. it's the same thing here. Nobody is going to go in and just rip out their entire environment, George, they don't really do that. Right. So it's going to be a progression. So for those applications and those spaces where you need the NVMe uh, latency reduction, right, you'll put that in and you'll simply connect that resource or share that resource to the devices that need it without having to swap out everything. Right. That, and that's that's a really good way to go. And, and I, I think what we see today in Flash, you know, we, I was talking to a group of IT professionals the other day and I said, you know, look, Flash really has kind of gotten slower over time as we've increased density and things like that. It actually got, what the, the speed increases is removing the latency and see in the surrounding architecture, and this is a really good example of how we're going to do that. It is absolutely true.
true. In fact, if you look at some of the direction statements made by some of the silicon people, the next reduction in latency for NVMe is going to take us down to projections of less than 20 microseconds of latency across the fabric, right? right. So that's like a fifth, If you know, check me if I get the numbers wrong, but that's like a fifth of the current access time of an average RAID array. If we look at the, the data center itself, it's evolving, right? We're seeing modern applications like Cassandra and Splunk and uh, Spark and all those different things, but the, the traditional applications, the Oracles and Microsoft SQL still remain critical to the environment, but we're clearly seeing a modernization at the app level. And now we've seen a pretty significant modernization at the storage media level. So it just makes logical sense that we should modernize this infrastructure, right? Absolutely true. And I think one of the other things that goes along with that is not just the raw speed. To your point, it's it's not just bandwidth. It's not just the IOPS. It is also the latency, but it's also the analytics, the ability right. to measure, right? Because one of the rules I've learned for IT over the years is if you can't measure, you can't manage. It's right. the equivalent of driving with a blindfold you need to be able to see what's going on with the flows, and when you start mixing technologies in the same network, that becomes even more critical, not less. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. Well, AJ, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. So there you have it. One of the keys to getting the most out of a flash investment is to make sure you're mitigating latency throughout the rest of the infrastructure. And NVMe over fabric is one of the key ways to get that done because now we're talking about latencies that are almost as good as direct attached storage, yet all the benefits of a shared storage system. I'm George Crump, lead analyst for Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.